What's up you guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So I uh, haven't done a Gymshark video in a hot minute since the sale actually. Comment down below what you got and keep tagging me in those stories so I can see all of y'all's hauls. So I hope you guys aren't too spent from the sale because we have yet another release coming. This Thursday, the 24th, right? June? Yeah. It's June, right? Yeah. June 24th at 2 p.m. EST. We got new training and crest shorts. So we got some details to get into in today's video. So let's get it started in here. Don't look at my dirty kitchen. Please keep your eyes here. Thank you very much. Most definitely hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you. It helps me out more than you know. And uh, like this video. Let me just put this camera down because um. take a moment to recognize how fast-paced Gymshark is with their launches like is it me or is it like every day I wake up there's something new launching <laughs> by the way huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video I'm rocking and rolling in the new crest shorts in white and the training bandeau in the crushed line perfect for summertime I have been waiting for what feels like an eternity for these bandeaus <laughs> Gymshark has had training bandos for what, like a couple years, and I have yet to ever have snagged them. <laughs> Does that make sense? I couldn't, literally could not get my hands on a bando for the life of me. I remember I came really close. They were always sold out, and I remember seeing them in stock once, and I added it to my cart, then got to perusing some more on the site. And when I went back to my cart, it was sold out, and I said to myself, Self, there's a good chance you ain't never getting a bando. <laughs> but thank God they're coming out with new colors. So let me know, do, do you like the bando? So yeah, we got a few new colors. The Crushed Lime, they came out with this really nice like neutral gray color, white. And they're also coming out with staple black. So you got a nice variety of colors and just neutrals that'll mix and match within other collections. You know I love the training. Training bras are my favorite bras out of all of Gymshark and their bandos are no different. I love them just as freaking much, girl. So the bandos obviously have their own really unique look. They're super summery in my opinion. They're very much almost like a tube top with straps. So it comes straight across all around the back which is two spaghetti straps, almost could look like a bathing suit. I'm here for it, are you? They are adjustable, but the training bras are the ones that give the cleavages some enhancement in my personal opinion. And this does just the same. The support is there, even as for like a lower support sports bra, which most of the training bras that I prefer are the lower support, even though they do have high support training bras. I really love how they designed this bra. They actually have molding, like molded pads in there, but if you look inside, they actually sewed them in their own little sections so that you don't have the intercrossing of the bra pads where all of a sudden you put it on and that bra pads on top of that one and then it looks like you just got like one booby. I really do appreciate that. At first I put it on and I kind of could see the seams through the bra and I said, what the frig is that? And then when I looked, I realized they were actual seams to stop the bra pads from touching each other. Well done. So yeah, like I said, they are adjustable. These are all in a size small, my true size in all of the training bras and it fits to perfection. So for me, I've already worked out in these. <laughs> I'll insert a clip, okay? I did back day with them. Training bras, especially ones that look this sexy, deserve it for back day. I wouldn't do anything high intense, okay? I wouldn't be doing like marathon running in this. <laughs> I need a little more support than that when jumping up and down and doing crazy, crazy kind of shit. But everything else, like if I'm just going to lift weights, I'm not doing anything high intense. I'm just getting my back gains going, even my peach gains. They are all that in a bag of chips. This sports bra just stays put. Doesn't move around, doesn't get weird, no side boob. That's awesome because I got a lot of side cleavage that just wants to get out somehow. Yeah, you got the printed on logo. No embroidery, it's just printed on on the side. These are actually better than I thought they would be. I originally thought it being a bandeau, just the shape of it. I said, I really hope it holds me in. And it does. It does. And if you're new to the training collection, just know that's one of the more affordable Gymshark collections. So that's especially why I love and appreciate it. 
it's a big bang for your buck, in my opinion. So definitely keep your eye out for these. The bandos are something super special for the summer. My personal favorite out of all of them, I love the crushed lime in the summertime. And can't go wrong with a staple white, but this gray right here is just, it speaks to me. You guys, look who begged to be in this video. Jim the shark and Wolfie in the flesh. They're gonna hang out with us while we talk about these freaking crest shorts. When I first got these crest shorts in, immediately when I put them on my bod, I was like, holy shit, these are one of the most comfortable pairs of shorts Jim Sharks ever come out with, period. Guys, that's the couch, not me. Please, believe me. So for those who don't know, the Crest Collection was actually originally the men's collection. They have a whole Crest Collection, and now the ladies finally get to uh, dip their hands into it as well. I'm a little bit biased. Like, I actually prefer looser fitting shorts over tight fitting, naturally. Like, I just always like that. I don't have to worry about quad muffins, and they're just so comfortable. So we got a staple black pair. We have these, like, chocolate, mocha brown these stunning twilight blues holy sh and a classic light gray super natural sweatpants look can't go wrong with gray and i'm also wearing their classic white ones right now Woo. i'm getting a lot of questions uh whether they're similar to the throw on shorts or not and the truth is there's a lot of similarities clearly like they look pretty similar but there's so much of a difference that it needs to be chatted about right now these are the pink throw-on shorts that they came out with last summer. These are clearly just a lot more overall wider. They have the drawstring. You don't have a drawstring on the new crest. These new crests have way more of like a dramatic kind of waterfall look. They drape a little more nicely and flatteringly in my opinion. So the overall fit just kind of has more of a angled look if you will the waistband seems a little more almost cinch kind of giving more of that hourglass shape very flattering the throw-ons just have a more boxier look okay so super squared off where these like i said have more of an angular look you obviously have the embroidered logo on the crest whereas the throw-ons just had the normal printed logo they both have two side pockets they don't zip or anything they're just open loose pockets a big major difference, listen up real close. The new Crest, the inside liner is of a plush feel. So it's got like almost a blankety feel, which is why I would totally classify them as loungy throw-on sweatshorts. Whereas the original throw-on shorts have that more rugged feel. These were something that I automatically associated with wearing out of the water on the beach where you're like sandy and stuff because it doesn't, it wouldn't ruin the texture. It's kind of textured enough for it to be good for things like that. The inside, I mean, it's super soft like a blanket. The original throw-on is more like a towel. So you can kind of get an idea of the different types of material and the textures involved. So I hope that clarifies the differences. I've been getting a lot of questions like that. So if I didn't touch base on anything, feel free to ask in the comments below. I feel like this is just the perfect fit for a loose fit where it's not overly loose. Like even without a drawstring, it's fitting nice. Like just how it should. You can see the waterfall look coming up high on the sides here and then lower right where it counts. Like this is where you don't want it to be short. Right at the gooch, <laughs> gooch. This is about a three inch inseam. So it feels pretty long compared to it up here, but it's okay to show the leg. But right here, you need it a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see how these hold up like when getting into a real low squat. You never know if you're picking something up off the ground, right? Ow, ow. How's it look? No gape? No gape. Ah, it's perfect. I love it. These are literally road trip essentials. If you have a long car ride, long drive anywhere, you want to be ultra comfortable no matter what you doing, absolutely. You could totally warm up in these as well at the gym. Like if you had a really like short pair of training shorts underneath, and you throw these on top, cool. Total sleep shorts as well. So almost anything you need these for, I think they would work super well. So I think this is one of my favorite matches, believe it or not, that pebble gray with the chocolate brown. I think one of my gals wrote on Instagram when I wore this, 
someone said it was dreamy and that's the perfect word. This is a dreamy set right here. This combination just is really flattering, kind of complements each other. You got the light gray, that deep, rich chocolate brown. So yeah, I think they just kind of, they work. They work, they kind of look like s'mores, don't they? Don't you look like a delicious s'more? Chocolate, some graham crackers, some roasty toasty look. Okay, so I know I'm gonna get some questions on that gray bandeau with the gray pressed shorts. They are a little bit different in color. Like this one's more of that pebble gray Gymshark has. So it's a little more like a warmer clayey gray kind of tone, a little warm. And these shorts are more of like the classic athletic gray. You even have that like slight marl breakup. It's not a solid gray, so it's a little more of a cool tone, and the sports bra has a slight, ever so slight warm tone. So they're not a true match, but they could totally go. Like this right here, yeah, I'd rock it. Absolutely, like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you could rock this. Okay, last but not least, let's talk some tops. All right guys, so we have some oversized training tops right here. So they're gonna be launching some oversized t-shirts and crew necks. I love crew sweaters, they're my jam. Always have been, always will be. I actually ordered all the oversized tops in an extra small rather than a small because I feel like religiously with their oversized tops, I'm usually swimming in it. Their shorts, not so much, they're doable, but their tops I swim in. So I got an extra small, still baggy as heck, but it's all good. Like I do love having a nice casual short sleeve, you know, throw it on even make it look cute by tying it up in the front, whatever. I had to go with their toasted almond colored tee. I wanna say toasted almonds, one of my faves, especially for the summertime, because if you look closely, it's a tan mixed with a blushy pink. It is 100% cotton, this t-shirt. So it is for casual wear or warming up at best. I love that they kept the embroidered logo, okay? They didn't go skimp, man. They didn't just try on the shorts, they tried on the tees as well. So yeah, you got the beautiful embroidered logo just glistening in your eyes. They remind me a lot of the Reset collection that just launched a few weeks back, um, that unisex collection. This really could be a unisex, I think. I think they, actually. I think you could fit in this and you would slay it. Here, you're gonna try it on just for the heck of it. Ooh, okay, dashing. So, Bay is usually a size large, and this is what he looks like in my size extra small. Check out the sleeves. So it's a little tighter on the arms, but that's because you jacked. <laughs> you a little jacked. Look at that sunburn, though. What's up with that? Oh, oh my it's god. It's never going away. So yeah, it actually fits pretty well, just tight around the arms and a little bit of your pectorials. <laughs> But like I said, that's because you jacked, honey. Yes, honey. Woo. So yeah, he looked like the sexy king that he is. <laughs> the crew necks are one of my favorite pieces out of everything. These crew necks are probably one of the most beautiful crew necks that I believe Gymshark has ever come out with for a few reasons. Number one, I really love the colors. Like I love the white, I love the toasted almond, I really love those pale, nude tones, if you will. I also really love the fit. It's oversized, it's a little bit baggy, but still yet super cute. You have the slouchy looking drop sleeves on the side and the crew is perfect. As much as I love hoodies, crew necks are just convenient. You don't have to worry about that bulky hoodie in your way. It's just simple. These are also in an extra small and I swear to you, I would size down, that's just me. These feel identical to the Crest shorts that I'm wearing. You have that plush, like blankety, soft, heavenly feel inside this sweater, just like the shorts, you can wear them together. I think the embroidered logo on these just gives it so much of a premium look. I swear, that's the first thing that came out my mind was I was like, this is luxurious as hell. And um, yes, Gymshark, please, thank you, and if I'm being honest, I want everything embroidered. <laughs> we love it, okay? We are pro embroidery here. So yeah, guys, these are pretty much really straightforward, right? Very versatile, do whatever you need to do with these. You can even rock them wearing them to the gym, warm up a little bit and then take them off. 
Not something I would full-fledged work out in, but hey, that's just me because I'll sweat my ass off in like two minutes. These are for those cozy nights. These are for those long summer car rides when you just wanna be super ultra comfortable. I don't believe it could actually get more comfortable than these sweaters with these shorts. I don't believe it possibly could. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I feel like Gymshark's been coming out with a lot more streetwear looks than usual. It could just be me noticing things like that, but I feel like they're slowly coming out with more of the athleisure kind of look that you can wear to like grocery stores and things like that. And I gotta admit how much I really do love that. They're just spreading their wings and kind of touching base on everything. All right guys, so what are we thinking of these pieces? Let's be honest here. Comment down below what your thoughts are. If you're looking to snag anything, I already knew I was gonna love everything. Like it's very rare for me to not. <laughs> But I mean, I'm just really just excited more than anything that I got to finally try these bandos. As a lover of the training collection, like it's about damn time that I have my moment to shine with these. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button because there's a ton more Gymshark videos, really cool ones we have lined up for you. Thanks again to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I will catch you later.